Hello everyone, my name is Ryan or MNR Productions and in this video we're going to be comparing two very similar LEGO sets from 2018. On the left we have the 75200 Octu Island Training. It has 241 pieces and 3 minifigures and it retails for $30 in the United States. The set on the right is Yoda's Hut, set number 75208 with 229 pieces. It also retails for $30 in the United States with 3 minifigures. So these are two very comparable and similar sets that maybe some of you guys might be torn on so in this video I'm basically going to tell you which one might be better for you depending on which movie you're more a fan of or depending on which figures you want or there's a lot of different factors that may go into which set you want to buy of the two if you can't afford them both. I know they're only $30 but I still think it's going to be a fun comparison to basically weed out which one is maybe better. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at our minifigs first because both these sets again are very similar in a lot of ways and the first way that they're similar is that they have three minifigures. So, let's take a look. As far as minifigures are concerned, I am truly torn as to which set has the advantage. I'm pretty much content to call this one a draw. If you guys think one set has minifigures better than the other, make sure you vote on the card on screen right now, but I honestly think both sets are pretty evenly matched. With Octo Island Training, you get Rey with her training outfit and she has her little staff and a lightsaber. Luke Skywalker, the older Luke Skywalker that is, has a staff as well, which is awesome. He looks incredible. And then you also get the highly coveted Porg minifigure, which is just very, very cute. And I think a lot of people like it for that factor. As far as Yoda's Hut's minifigures, you of course do get Yoda and he looks pretty darn spiffy. He's got a great head mold with very nice looking eyes and a great torso print. You get Luke in his Jedi training outfit, which hasn't been seen since 2004. So this is the second version of that and it looks incredible as well. He also does have a backpack to carry Yoda on, which you'll see later in the video when I use the feature that needs it. And then you also have this great dirty and gritted up R2-D2 minifigure, which is just incredible looking. It's a much different R2-D2 than we've had in the past obviously most of them are very clean and this one is dirty so that's a nice departure and it looks incredible they did a great job with it so both sets have incredible figures I think I'm gonna call it a draw as far as figures are concerned I also suppose it wouldn't be fair if I didn't mention that Yoda's Hut does include a red Lego snake so if that's something you're really after Yoda's Hut is probably the set you're gonna want to go for and now that we've seen the figures, we're going to take a look at the two structures that are included in the set. They both share a very similar design philosophy in that they're both kind of built on a base plate of plates, and then they kind of have this kind of half house, half open exterior in the back, so you get a little bit of playability into the inside of each set there. So they both share kind of the same idea, which I really do like. I think it works really well. They're both kind of modular in a way too, so on Yoda's Hut, you can actually fold out these flaps to kind of extend the uh, footprint of it, at least how wide the footprint is. It's going to be the same area taken up. It's just a little bit of a wider footprint, so depending on maybe how you want to display it or how you want to play with it. On Octu Island, you can actually remove this piece that has the rock on it. It's actually like clipped in with a Technic piece, and you can reattach it onto the other side. So you get kind of a similar modular ability with this set. You could basically pick up two of these and create a full, like, you know, you can add on more stuff if you want to build your own custom stuff. So it definitely works a little bit better with Octu Island if you're into building custom stuff as opposed to what you already have with Yoda's Hut because you don't really have anywhere where you can add on. There is this Technic pin in the front, which you may have noticed, and that is actually for this bit in the back, which is, again, another little modular piece. And we'll get into all the playability with these sets and some of the cons in a second. So having moved that piece from the back to the front, that's what Yoda's Hut looks like. And there's the two sets kind of flipped around, moved around. You can also take off this front bit here on the Octu Island training set and move it onto the side if you want, although it doesn't really line up, so it looks really weird. But again, it's just having that option there. I guess if you want it, you can do it. And now we can take a look at the two very similar interior designs on the sets. With the Octu Island set, you can actually remove the roof, which gives you a little bit more access to what you have inside, as opposed to Yoda's Hut, where the roof doesn't really come off unless you break the set. So that's one difference. That's one pro to the Octu Island set. It also has this little kind of cape that covers up the doorway, which is nice, a little curtain. So you can kind of open and close that, get a little bit of access or privacy into the room, which is definitely a positive. Obviously, Yoda didn't have that in the movie. It's just something to note with Octo Island that's included. There's a little lamp inside Octo Island. You have a little coffee mug, a little stove where you can cook your fish on. 
There's also a little bed inside. And if you wanna have a minifigure laying down there, it's very simple to do. You just lay them down onto the bed there like so. The hair piece does get in the way a little bit, so it is a little bit tough to get her to lay down flat, but that's as close as you'll get. The bed can also fold up, which we'll get to in a second once we remove the figure. And that's the rest of the interior on the Octu Island. The only feature on the interior is the ability to make it kind of explode by pushing in on this piece here. And it will kind of make that piece fall off. So it's kind of like when Luke walks in on Rey and Kylo Ren kind of doing that force connect thing. And then he kind of makes the whole room explode. So that's kind of alluding to that. It's a nice little feature, but it's just not much. And it's actually more annoying than it is useful because a lot of times when I pick up this set, I like to pick it up like this and I will always break that. So it's definitely more annoying than useful in my particular experience. Anyway, having removed Ray, you can see that the bed does fold up very easily to allow for a little bit more space inside of the room here. So you can get Ray and Luke standing in here if you want. You can definitely barely fit them in. You're not going to be able to fit in uh, more than really two figures inside of the Octu Island hut. Uh, it's very small, as you may be able to tell there with two figures in there, but it does work if you want it to. I did forget to mention that on the Octu Island set, there's a little hidden compartment. If you remove this table piece here, which has like the little coffee mug on it and the little torch, you do reveal a little hidden chest area where you can store different items in there. And in this case, they have a little bit of fruit in there. And then you can close it back up very simply. Just push it back down and it's closed up nicely. Taking a peek inside of Yoda's hut, you'll notice it's got a little bit more of an open feel. I think that's because there's no curtain and the door is a little bit bigger, so I definitely like that more about the Yoda's hut. There's also a bed where you can have Yoda lay down. It's a little bit morbid because Yoda does die in this bed, right? But it's nice. It has a little lip there for his feet to kind of connect up against. They don't obviously connect, but it's just like a nice little stopper there, which I do like. If we remove him, you can lift up the bed to create more floor space, just like you can inside of Octu Island. There is also a little box for a carrot. The main issue I find with this is that the carrot is way too big for that box. I wish they had done like a regular crate, but maybe the crate would have been too tall. I don't know. It just tends to fall out like every time, which is annoying. So that's definitely an issue there. There's a frying pan where you can also place the carrot onto. Again, the carrot is just kind of way too big for it and tends to fall off a lot or, you know, you can then put it into the pan there. Again, just a little bit too big. I, that's that's the theme here with the carrot too big you can lift up this floor panel which is kind of connected to that little table and you reveal a little stash there where you can kind of hide something if you'd like so there's a little storage area on the inside of Yoda's hut definitely uh, useful for different little accessories included in the set you could put the lightsaber in there if you wanted to I suppose on the wall here, there is also a little hook, so you can take this cauldron and hook it up on the wall. There is nothing like that inside of Octu Island. You have it above this little flame here, which is nice as well. So, nice little details inside of the Yoda's Hut definitely make for a fun play experience. Definitely more for kids than myself. My hands can barely fit in here, but I think kids would have a blast with this. You even have a little bottle there on a shelf or a counter inside Yoda's Hut. There is even a window on the side, which again makes it even more of an open feel for the Yoda's Hut. Even though the whole back is open on both, I feel like Yoda's Hut feels more open and I really like having the removable lid for Octu Island but I also really like having the bigger doorway and the window on Yoda's hut so there's some trade-offs to be had there. As we look to the sides of both the huts we'll find that they're pretty similar in that it's literally just the facade or a window so you have some nice rock work stickers on the Octu Island set which I do like. The Yoda's hut is more supposed to represent like a tree or that kind of uh, more organic growth as opposed to the rocks on the Octu Island training set. The doorway for Yoda's hut again much bigger much more round you're gonna have trouble fitting Luke through there because he's just a tad too tall He'll have to bend down to get inside which is pretty accurate I guess to what we see in the movie Yoda though will fit in no problem He is plenty short enough to fit inside his own hut as we look to the front of the Octu Island set though You'll find that older Luke will have no problem getting inside unless you have the staff up of course But he is short enough to fit inside and it's a little bit tough to get him in there with one hand But you get the point he gets in there No problem as we work to the right side of both sets You'll see again pretty similar just kind of the facade with the Octo Island set though You do have this kind of tree attachment which does have a nice feature to it where you can have Luke swinging from it It's basically a training playability feature where you can have Luke with Yoda on his backpack swinging through the ropes on the trees So that's a pretty cool feature. I really like that you can have him jump off and stuff just really Really neat feature added into the Yoda's hut set there. The one issue I have with this feature though is that sometimes that jumper cable will come off with Luke so it won't stay attached to the actual set there which is a bit of a shame and also the cable tends to get stuck in this piece of leafing here so that's another little issue I have with it but other than that it's still a cool little feature that I think kids will have fun with but I kind of get annoyed with.
On the right side of Octo Island, you can recreate the Luke and Ray training bit where she kind of slices through the rock. So you can definitely do that pretty easily with this set. And the rock does open up to reveal a crystal, which is odd because there was no crystal shown in The Last Jedi. So that was just kind of something added in by Lego, I guess. Or maybe it was taken out of the movie and not no one said a word about it. Who knows? But that's just a feature that you can use. This thing does tend to fall out pretty easily because it's just on a plate there. It's not attached to anything. So when you're moving this set around, you'll find that that might get a little bit annoying. The backside of Octu Island doesn't really offer anything else, but the backside of Yoda's hut does have a little feature for us to get to. It basically is where Luke can hold on and be upside down, basically doing a, a handstand and be force lifting this box over here on the right. So that's a pretty neat feature that LEGO was able to include as well. Uh, much like with the Octu Island set where that piece of rock that just kind of falls off the, the side of the thing whenever you pick it up. With Yoda's hut, it kind of has a similar issue with these little grass weed pieces. They tend to fall off on me a lot lots like every time I move this set one of them falls off so that tends to be an issue on this set that is not an issue on Octo Island but again on Octo Island it does have its own issue with something like that so that is to be noted. Also on the back of Yoda's hut, you have this launcher, and you can hit down on it, and Luke will jump up. It's basically like him learning how to jump like a Jedi, which is definitely cool. It's a nice little feature included. It doesn't work that great. Like, it doesn't go super far, but it does work effectively. Like, there's just not enough uh, travel time there. You just got to hit it really hard, and it'll go kind of far, I guess. So it's a nice feature. It's something more that the Octo Island set doesn't have. I feel like Yoda's hut has more features in general than Octo Island. But... Overall, I'm very impressed with both of these sets. It's hard to pick a clear way are here they both cost the same price they both have great minifigures and in their own right they both have great little builds it really comes down to whether you want something from the original trilogy or the sequel trilogy do you want the new minifigures of the luke skywalker yoda and r2d2 or do you want a porg with old luke and a ray minifigure it's really going to come down to personal preference here i don't think i can determine a clear winner as far as which set is actually better as far as features minifigures and build quality goes i think both sets have their pros and cons and i think i've listed those throughout this video adequately. So go ahead and vote on the poll above right now whether you think the Yoda's Hut is better or the Octu Island is better or which one of the two you'll be getting. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like. If you're new to the channel, of course, subscribe. And if you do have anything to say or have any questions for me about the two sets and maybe I can help you make a purchasing decision, go ahead and leave it in the comments section below and I'll try to get back to you guys. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.